The Arctic Stalemate. For years, the story of Canada's next-generation fighter fleet seemed written in stone. The F-35 Lightning II was the inevitable winner, a trillion-dollar titan that the Pentagon insisted was the only way to defend the North. But what happens when the only option starts to look like a strategic liability? In a shocking development, the Swedish Saab Gripen, a jet once dismissed as the underdog, has just received a massive injection of power from the British engineering giant Rolls-Royce. This isn't just about an engine swap. It's a direct challenge to the American monopoly on Western air power. While the world was looking at stealth coatings, Sweden was looking at sovereignty. By integrating Rolls-Royce technology, Saab is offering Canada something Lockheed Martin simply cannot, total freedom from the U.S. State Department's veto power. Today, we're going inside the secret maneuvers, the cost overruns of the F-35 program, and why the Rolls-Royce Gripen is suddenly the jet the Pentagon is terrified of. The veto problem. To understand why this matters, you have to understand the invisible leash of modern aviation. For decades, the Gripen was powered by the GE F-414, an American engine. This meant that every time Sweden wanted to sell a jet, or every time a customer like Canada wanted to upgrade a part, they needed permission from Washington, D.C. This veto power has long been the primary tool for U.S. geopolitical influence. If you don't follow the Pentagon's rules, they cull the support for your engines, and your billion-dollar Air Force becomes a collection of very expensive paperweights. Enter Rolls-Royce. By providing a high-performance non-U.S. engine path, Rolls-Royce has effectively unlocked the Gripen. For Canada, this means the ability to defend the Arctic without having to ask for a password from a server in Virginia every time they want to launch a mission. It's the difference between owning your car and leasing it with a remote kill switch. The Cold Truth Let's talk about the Arctic. Canada's backyard is one of the most hostile environments on Earth. The F-35 is a technological marvel, but it's a clean room jet. It requires climate-controlled hangars and massive logistics tails. The Gripen, however, was designed by the Swedes to be operated by conscripts on a frozen highway using a single fuel truck. It is the guerrilla fighter of the sky. With Rolls-Royce's pedigree and cold-weather turbine engineering, the Gripen's reliability in negative 40-degree weather just jumped from good to unbeatable. While the F-35 program is currently battling cost overruns and software delays that have Canada's procurement officers sweating, the Gripen offers a predictable, low-maintenance alternative that actually fits the Royal Canadian Air Force's budget. We're looking at a jet that costs nearly half as much to fly per hour as its American rival. The industrial boom. But there's a deeper reason why the Gripen deal is gaining momentum, the industrial participation card. When you buy an F-35, you're buying a black box. You aren't allowed to see the source code, and you certainly aren't allowed to build the engines at home. Rolls-Royce and Saab are offering Canada a seat at the table. We're talking about domestic engine support hubs, local assembly lines, and a transfer of technology that would supercharge the Canadian aerospace industry for the next 50 years. For Ottawa, this isn't just a military purchase. It's an economic stimulus package. It's about building a sovereign defense industry that can stand on its own two feet, rather than being a branch plant for a U.S.-based conglomerate. The global shift. This isn't just about Canada. The Gripen Rolls Royce Alliance is sending shockwaves through the global fighter market. From Europe to South America, nations are watching closely. If Canada, a core Five Eyes member, chooses the path of strategic independence, the stealth monopoly is officially dead. We are seeing the birth of a new era of air power, an era where agility, cost efficiency, and sovereignty are just as important as radar absorbent paint. The F-35 may be the king of the skies today, but the Gripen is proving that even a king can be dethroned if he forgets how to fight in the cold. So, is the F-35 still the right choice for Canada, or has the Rolls-Royce boost finally tipped the scales in Sweden's favor? One thing is certain, the Pentagon is no longer the game in town. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of warfare. This is Insight Edge 360, staying ahead of the curve.